staying well rested from the weekend. Looking okay, good, dress. looking good. Go okay. on. Come on down, nice and fresh. I know. I hope everyone had an absolutely amazing Mother's Day. Shout out to our mom at the table. Yes. yes. How did you have a good Mother's Day? I did. I slept all day. Look at oh, God. Right. Hallelujah. Amazing. So <laughs> well, who's ready for some live girl chat? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure that you head on over to the Reels Daytime Instagram page and use the hashtag Girl Chat Live to join in on today's conversation and be watching what you have to say. Now, I have got to say that one of the best things about this season has been getting to interact live with all of you. Yeah. Our amazing fans. You guys are seriously the best. And as a way to say thank you for your support, we've been sending our sexy stud, Marcel, on the road to deliver our fans some love and also some of that sh money. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, you guys. It's time once again to hurry to the hunk. Hey. Ow! Let's see where Marcel is today. Hi, Marcel. How are you? Uh, How's it going? Uh, What's up? Uh, Live from Dayton, Ohio. All right. He's in Dayton, Ohio. Coming to us live from Dayton, Ohio. Yeah. All right. He is currently hanging out in Courthouse Square on Main Street between 2nd and 3rd Street. So, Marcel, <laughs> how are you enjoying your day in Dayton so far? He's just counting that oh, money. It's beautiful out here. We brought the heat out here. Really? Oh, it's hot? Yes. Yes. I can see it's sunny. Yes. I, I do oh, see yeah. that. Are you sweating a little bit? You look a little parched. Yeah. <laughs> Are you thirsty? Woo! <laughs> Take that as a yes. Can somebody help me out? Yes, well, I think you deserve a drink, so guess what? The first real fan to find Marcel and bring him a beverage of any kind will win a real swag bag and $1,000! Be safe, please be safe, drive the speed limit. The minute someone tracks down Marcel, we'll break into the show to congratulate our winner. That sounds amazing, right? Yes. yes. Good luck, Marcel. Yes, good luck. Okay, and first up. Thank you. We yes. just want to say congratulations to Taraji P. Henson, yes. who just oh, announced wow. on Instagram that she's engaged. Yeah. Taraji wrote that she almost passed out when her fiance, when, when her fiance Kelvin Hayden, proposed and that she is now hashtag officially off Love the it. market. Oh. Congratulations, yes. girl. You deserve it. I'm so excited. He's handsome, awesome. too. Very, very handsome. Very handsome. I can't wait to learn more about them together. Now, <laughs> one woman who's waiting on a ring of her own is Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> and recently, Tonight Show host Jimmy Fallon had J-Lo's boo Alex Rodriguez on his show <clears throat> and pressed the baseball star about when he was gonna propose. Alex is feeling the pressure lately due to JLo's new song, El Anillo, which is about a woman who wants to know if she'll ever get an engagement ring from her significant other. Take some water. <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> I'm joking for you, Marcel. Hold on. Right. Yeah, take some water. Yeah. Know. Okay. That's them late nights. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It sounds like they're talking about us. This is Al what Alex was saying about right. the song. Uh -huh. And she goes, yeah, they made it for me. <gasps> and when Fallon flat out asked A-Rod where the ring is, he said, when it happens, Jimmy, you'll be the first to know. So ladies, do you think it's okay for a woman to give her man a little nudge when it comes to popping the question? Or could that end up backfiring real quick? Mm. I, I think it backfires. Yep. That's just me personally. I, I like the idea of a man really wanting to make you his bride. Like, I love, I love that. Like, I want to marry you. I, I love the idea of him pursuing that dream. I also think that it's more common for women to want to get married than for men. That's just my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. You kind of hear that more often, that women are like, I want to get married, I want to get married, I want to get married. I, I think you should let the man take that, uh, that, that lead in that, yep. Yep. because I low-key think, like, they gotta wanna marry you more. Like, they, they gotta really want it. Because I think innately, sometimes women are just more prone to wanting to be in a marriage. When a man is like, I desperately want to marry, like, I am going to die if I don't <laughs> marry you, I think there's something really dope about that. I just that. don't Me see, in the, in the case of J-Rod and, they're, I mean, 
for me, marriage is like, if you are able to take care of yourself as a woman, I mean, look at them. They already color coordinated. They already <laughs> had their kids. Yeah. I don't even see why they family. need to be married. Yeah. I mean, she has enough money. He has enough money. I mean, what's the purpose now? She it's just is to maybe, romantic. Maybe you know. biblically. She's trying not to fornicate. I don't know, but I, I oh, mean, she, well, that didn't happen. Pretty sure. It's on, record, mm -hmm. it's on record, though. She said that she truly believes in love yes. and that yeah. she's this romantic. You know what? But I do have to agree with you, Adrian, because I have a friend who actually had the ring, you guys. He was ready to propose, but his girlfriend kept pressuring him and oh, pressuring him so and pressuring him. It became unattractive. Yes. And he was just like, you know what? I quit. I don't want to do it anymore. He broke up with her. Well, yeah. then he didn't really cover it in to me because the thing is, is that either, you know, especially when you get into your late 40s, you know what you want. And sometimes you be like, look, yeah, no, nah, we gonna yes. get married, we gonna do this yes. or what? I think it happens on how you pressure, though. Yeah, If you it become depends. a nag, I don't of know, some things came out that Because you saw. it can show you who that, that person really you're is. You're annoying. Yep. I'm sorry, like, you don't want to yep. be a pastor. You don't want to be annoying. Or There's it can show you really, yeah, that more of what you want is the marriage, not so much the, the person. Yes, yeah, he the saw person. that. Yeah, yeah. So that exactly. He saw too. that. Because if you're being nasty, yeah. and you're like having now a nasty attitude, that person is now seeing like, oh, wait a minute, when yep. she doesn't get her way, this she, is how like, she's gonna yep. act? Yeah. This is how I gotta spend the rest of my life? If I don't do something that she wants me to do, this is the reaction yeah. I get? And then he'll be like, nah, nah. fam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I am on your side, though. I understand that after being divorced, mm -hmm. it feels like, yo, marriage is a lot. I don't see the purpose of it. If you're a woman that can take care of yourself, you got, already got your life and your kids, why ruin it? Yes, and, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, 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 there, are, and there are successful <laughs> ways of just being like yeah. partners. There's that, lottie, too. Lottie, lottie, I'm not lottie. knocking that marriage. Up. But it's I just will, a lot when you come out of it. But I, I will say this. I want to say this really quick. Because I do believe that there are men who just don't realize how important it is for the woman, for ethical reasons, moral reasons, whatever, to get married. So they need a little nudge, not a reminder, not a yep. harpering, not a nagging, not a guilt trip. But they need a little nudge. We've even had Help a Sister Out segments where we help the woman kind of talk to the man yeah. to let him know she's That's ready true. or whatever. So I'm just saying, though, one piece of advice that I heard that I think fits well when it comes to this equation on whether or not you should uh -huh. be with him and wait is don't ever, don't ever stay with a man who doesn't have a plan for your heart. Mm. Think about that, right? Because he may not be ready to marry now, but as long as he's got a plan, as long as that guy is planning, what are we doing 20 years from now? Where do I want to have you so that you're all mine? What are we doing with our kids? Where are we going later on? If there's no plan to take care of your heart, then there isn't a plan and for your life. Don't ever have exactly. a man that don't have a bank account either. Oh so my that's God, that's <laughs> necessary <laughs> plan, girl. Come on, you guys. Yes. Someone may have tracked down Marcel and Dayton. Marcel, oh! do you have to oh! Yo, yeah, that's a real man right oh. there. Congratulations. <laughs> you found Marcel. What's your name, sweetie? You found me so fast. Oh, oh, His oh. His name oh. is Guy Courtney. Wait, hold oh. up. We got more coming your way, Marcel. I Who's know. that? Who hold is, up. Who is that? Oh, oh he's okay, like, like, man. We got more. Back. OK, well, OK. <laughs> Well, what were you doing right before you ran out to find Marcel? Amen. She said, right. what were you doing right before? What was I doing yes. before, uh, before I ran out? I was cooking a fish sandwich, to be honest. <laughs> 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 did, you, did you bring him? Yeah, did you bring him a fish sandwich? Do you have it with you? Where's the fish sandwich? He might be hungry, too, no, not just thirsty. It's right at the trailer. What? It's oh. a food trailer right I'm going to give you one. OK. <laughs> What's your name, sweetie? <laughs> What's your name, sir? My name is Guy. My name is Guy Cortland Ansley. You ain't had to get a whole name. <laughs> <laughs> he gave us his whole name. No, name. you look like a hardworking yeah. man, though. What's your the fish? Cool man. That's how my mama raised me. What's your, <laughs> I love it. What's your fish sandwich company? I want to know because I want to send you some support right now from your locals. <laughs> oh, it's right there, Court, Cortland's, Cortland's Mobile. Court, Court, Court. Oh, oh, back oh, up. There we go. Two, oh, hey. Hey. Oh, there it is. Wait a minute. I, 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 Money I, can I, fry. Yeah. Guy, <laughs> how did you hear about us? How did you hear about Hurry to the Hump? <laughs> My employee. She says she watches it all the time. Aww. And she said, you need to run your butt over there and get me. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Help a brother out. Okay. You have that. a great employee. Let me you tell you guys. Right. Yes, exactly. Guy, you need to thank her. <laughs> Because you hurried to our home, just like your employee told you to, guess what? You just got yourself a real swag bag and $1,000! Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Oh, look at his face. Oh, Thank you, Felicia. I know you're watching. I get 
that you ain't sick now, huh? You need to come out here and work. Since you want to dog out Felicia, we're going to give Felicia a thousand dollars. Yeah. I need a, another fryer so I can serve you people a lot oh, faster. Nice. I love <laughs> local businesses. You love it. Kind of I love that. That is I love awesome. It. Well, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank Enjoy. You. Thank you, guys. Well, thank you. I'm going to come up there and visit <laughs> some of the My own finest. Thank yes. you so much. He is well. hilarious. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye, Marcel. So sweet. Oh, that's, that's so sweet. sweet. Okay. Thank you, Felicia. Yes, that's your <laughs> chat. Okay, up next this weekend, Prince Harry will finally marry his fiance, oh, Meghan Markle. Oh, yeah. And go the world. However, one person who will not be in attendance is singer Rihanna. Duh. Rihanna threw a little shade at an Access Hollywood reporter Friday after she was asked if she was attending the wedding based on the fact that she met Harry back in 2016. Here's what Riri had to say. So I feel such a way about this. Why would you think I'm invited? I don't know you met him. <laughs> okay, you met me. You think you're gonna come into my wedding? <laughs> me? <laughs> Am I coming to yours? I mean, you'll get the invite. Oh, girl. Okay, but well, then may honest. maybe I should feel away then. Uh, okay. And that's I love facts, that she's man. always real, though. Always yes. real. I love it. Okay, now Rihanna might not be going, but Miss Lonnie Lonnie. Yes. There are rumors flying all over Twitter that you're going to be attending the wedding this weekend. <laughs> Do tell. Do tell. Lonnie, Lonnie, Lonnie. Lonnie. Well, Lonnie. as our royal correspondent, please set the record straight, darling. Okay, I was on the Fox primetime special, Meghan yes. Markle, American Princess. Thank you guys for watching. It was a hit. That's amazing. Uh, <laughs> and that's why everybody thinks that I'm going to the the actual wedding, yeah. which at the time we were trying to work it out, but actually I'm gonna be at Zany's in Nashville this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Friday and Saturday. The work but calls. I yes. will be doing a royal wedding watch, and you guys, I'm okay. so excited. First of all, the queen has signed a decree yes. to um, make the wedding official. Because Prince Harry is sixth in line, the sixth person all the way up has to get permission, official permission. That's the decree. So yes. we got a wedding, folks. Yes. All right, that's, that's the first amazing. thing. I'm so excited. Couple of other things, that's real amazing. quick, is that I found out that Megan, the night before, is going to stay at an undisclosed hotel. Okay. She's going to be with her mother. She has Beautiful. no bridesmaids. No bridesmaids. Uh, Prince Harry will have Prince William yes. as his best man. We still don't know who's going to design the dress and. For Harry, because he's in the military, he has a choice of three uniforms. So look out for that. Look out for the designer dress. Um, afterwards, there are going to be two receptions. One for the queen, which is the huge one. Uh -huh. The second one is going to be a smaller one, 200 people. And I think that's smaller. the one that's going to be where the Spice Girls, Girls are going to be. More. Because Ooh. people can turn up and the queen won't be there. Yeah. So that's my uh -huh. prediction. Okay, you said she has no bridesmaids. Does that also mean she doesn't have a maid of honor? No maid of honor. So no bridesmaids. Her She's going to be with her mother. Also, her dad, dad will. Yeah. Her dad, Thomas Markle, is going to walk her down the aisle. Oh. But he has a little controversy because uh, supposedly this is through the Daily Mail and the Telegraph. He set up some paparazzi pictures. Pictures oh, of himself to sell allegedly, and, and allegedly he sold them to kind of try to make some money off of it. Oh, but no. she's still going to allow him to walk her down the aisle. Shoot. Okay. It's going to be Because your father is your father is your father, and I actually respect yeah. it. The Bible says honor your mother and your father, and you live a long life. Yes. 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 I absolutely believe in that. Question. Who's going to be officiating the wedding? There are three people that are going to be officiating, okay? okay. Um, the Archduke of Canterbury Ooh, is okay. going to be officiating, but... Look at this. This is what's exciting. You made so me cool. excited for this wedding, and the, I wasn't even interested. The, <laughs> head, of the, Episcopal, uh, the head of the Episcopal Church, did uh -huh. I say that right? Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Episcopal Church, <laughs> Bishop Curry, who was a brother, is going to be addressing the royal wedding. That's wow. it. Look at him. Oh, my God. That I'm so excited. Beautiful. I'm so excited. So, wow. anyway, amazing. it's going to be 
be great. It's this Saturday. Yes. Check your local listings. It's going to be early in the morning. And that's it. We got a wedding, you guys. Yeah. And I'm so excited. I'll be definitely staying up with my tiara.